everyone. I'm here with a project share, but before I share it, um, I just wanted to say, because I hadn't mentioned it before, but um, my mom passed away February 16th. Uh, I had been taken care of on hospice for just a couple weeks shy of two years. And um, so it, it's kind of been a long process because the funeral is barely tomorrow and Friday and so I wanted to share uh, well first of all she is not in any pain anymore um, although we are sad that she's not here um, is she was ready she was ready to leave and I and she went very peacefully I was always afraid that she was going to struggle breathing in her last moments and she just went. She just, there was no struggle, there was no trying to catch a breath, nothing. She just went and for that I am very thankful and blessed. Uh, because I had, that was what I had been hoping for the whole time that she was on hospice. So, um, I just wanted to share a couple of albums I made uh, for my daughters that I will be giving to them tomorrow after the viewing. Um, they are very sim similar, excuse me, they're very similar um, with the exception of like the first few pages are pictures of my mom. They're the same pictures in each album. Then it starts with a few pictures <clears throat> of them with my mom. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you, uh, the first one. So this is the front. Uh, this piece is from Frank Garcia's studio. And that is my mom right there, my beautiful mom. And I used um, just various flowers I had in my stash. That white butterfly right there is trim, also from Frank Garcia's studio. I fussy cut these butterflies from the paper. Oh, and the paper I used was 49 and Market um, Avestus, I believe, or Avesta or Avestus, one or the other. Um, because her favorite color was pink and this was the closest I could get to it. I, I feel like her color pink was just a little bit more pink because I feel like this is kind of going a little bit towards the peachy side a little but but that's okay. This was the closest I could get. So that's the front cover and that this is the inside cover and I just wrote a little something I wrote Christina I have enjoyed having you as a granddaughter you have been a joy and made my life complete continue to be the beautiful woman that beautiful woman you are know that I am so proud of you when you think of me smile and know that I'm always watching you I love you forever Nana so that's the inside I did um, stickle the flowers that's the first page. I did use ephemera from the same collection as well as little chipboard pieces. Um, I stamped Be Your Beautiful Self right there. And I'm probably just saying it because it's my mom, but she's so beautiful right here. Um, that's the stamp. That sentiment comes from a stamp set from Tim Holtz that one of my crafty friends gifted me uh, a few weeks ago, and I'm so glad. I just love those sentiments. So this is the next page. And we open it here. So let me go ahead and flip it over. Um, that's the only piece of red in this album. I just didn't know what to put there that's what I had so that's what I put um this is a picture of my mom that's 
my dad's writing. But this was my mom when she was, ugh, I'm trying to remember. She was probably about 18 or 19. My mom and dad got married when she was 16 and my dad was 21. And these are the next photos. And the next one. Yes, my mom was very beautiful. And that's her, uh, one of my aunts, my dad's sister. And this is the next, oops. This is the next page. These are pictures of um, when my mom uh, climbed Mount Fuji. Always take the scenic route. That little butterfly was in my stash. I think that's a Prima, Prima um, pack. And I added um, clear flat back gems. It says Amazing Adventures. I don't have the date on that, but it's all right. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to make you dizzy here. This is the next page, uh, also when they were in Japan. It's my mom and my dad. And it says, see the world. This is her a little bit older. I move this here. And I just made a little pocket page and I used this trim also from, um, it is from Frank's, isn't it? I can't remember. Yes, I believe it is. This is one of the pictures. And this is just on regular, backed on regular pink cardstock. That's my mom and dad and me. And then this is my mom. Whoa, oh, you're dropping things. Okay, that's the next page and I'm sorry for the glare. So as I said, this is my daughter Christina's album. That's Christina. It says memories, big hug. And then that's my other daughter, Vanessa, and my son Pablo. Uh, they both have the same picture, I believe, in each album. This is a picture of my mom, me, and Christina. This was a um, event at my work at the time. It was Breast, Ca Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and they invited my mom to come in and speak, and everybody wore pink that day. This is the next picture. It says, love you to the moon and back. And I, I really, really love this picture. And it says, my whole heart. As you can see, I just embellish very simply um, with a few sentiments and flowers and flat back gems. This is the next one. This, and it just says, love this. That's a chipboard piece. Uh, the very best. And it says, collect beautiful moments. This is when my mom uh, turned 89 last year. That was her last birthday. She would have been 90, uh, March 6th. And it says, memorable. memorable. Right here is a few days before uh, she gained her angel wings. Um, and this one right here. Um, and then this one was shortly before. Um, this daughter was the only one allowed at our house due to COVID and due to my mom's um, health issues. She had lung issues and even a common cold would give her pneumonia and she would, she would go very quickly. So nobody was allowed here at the house, but she was my backup and on file with hospice as uh, the second caregiver so which is why she was she's in a few pictures with my mom um regarding this picture my mom was waiting for my daughter to have her baby my daughter lost a baby um 
almost two years ago. And not only that, but my daughter, she, my daughter had a very hard time um, with that as well as she was still having a hard time with losing her brother, my son, uh, five years ago. So it was a hard time. And anyway, my mom was waiting for my daughter. She literally was waiting, like even before she knew Christina was pregnant. She was waiting for her um, to have a baby. And then I, back in November, I told my daughter, I said, I know she's waiting for you to have your baby. And I don't think she's gonna go past February. And sure enough, um, my daughter had her baby January 26th and my mom passed two weeks later. And I truly believe that people wait for things um, to be at peace and have peace of mind. So she was able to meet the baby just a few days before. Those are pictures of my mom. She loved, this is, um, she loved flowers. She was just loved them. This is one of her good days. I brought her outside so she can see her flowers. And then this is the last page. It says, love you forever and ever. My mom loved Raggedy Ann dolls, Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls. She didn't have them anymore because she distributed them to uh, all of her granddaughters, um, you know, couple to each of them. So that is that one. And I don't know how much battery I have left, so I'm gonna have to go quickly with the next one. Again, very similar. This piece is different. Um, but everything else is the same. Her wording, pretty much the same, says, Vanessa, you are the strongest woman I know. Always be true to yourself. Always tell all my grand, great, I'm sorry. Always tell my great grandchildren that I love them. My Lando and my beautiful Viana. When you think of me, smile and know that I'm always watching you. Love, Nana. So I'm going to go ahead and skip uh, well, you know what? That's just a little bit different. I put it, I did a die cut. Um, this one says, don't forget to fly, be your beautiful self. This one says, never stop exploring. Remember. This one says, good vibes. I'm going fast because these pictures are the same. It's just a couple of different embellishments that might be different or sentiments. This one says, the best day ever. There is beauty in simplicity. So again, remember I said that, that this was the same picture in the other album. This was her, this is Vanessa. Vanessa and my mom, they were at a restaurant down the street. This is a picture of four generations. My mom, myself, my daughter Vanessa and her baby. That was her first baby. Collect beautiful moments. Next one, I made a pocket page. This is a die cut. Uh, I believe it's a Tim Holtz die cut. And then I stamped you and me. There's that picture. There's that picture. And these are like a couple years ago. I think this one was probably about, oh, this has been a while actually. This was eight years ago. This next one, it says best ever. This is my oldest grandson, it says sending smooches. He loves to give kisses. He's special needs, uh, but he, and he can't see or, and he's not verbal, but um, he always, he's always smiling. He's always giving kisses. This next one, oh, this is not very good. I'm so sorry. Um, I started stamping big hug, big hug, big hug, and then right here it didn't take and I was a little irritated and I did it down here too and it didn't take all of it. So I covered that up. It says best ever. Let me undo this one. I think this is just two pictures, yeah. And this is my third grandson, my daughter's third baby. And I love this one, the way he looks. Then there's this one that says, my heart, it's a pocket again. These are pictures of my granddaughter. And 
she is also special needs. She does talk. She can't walk, but and she can't see, but she gets around. She crawls around and she talks up a storm. So there's that one. That one. And there's that one. This is again of my mom's birthday, uh, but this one is a little different where I put wishing you a very lovely birthday to a very lovely girl. It came with a, a stamp that was a fairy, but obviously I didn't use that. And then that's the last picture. It says, um, when I see you smile. That wasn't from the collection, but it was like a sticker came off of something and ended up on my desk and I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna use it. And then I just stamped XOXO. Again, the flat back gems. And so these are it. Those are the albums I will be giving to them tomorrow. And so, yeah. So I just want to share those with you. And um, I hope they really liked them. And we'll talk to you guys later.